still alive, baby? I think most of us remember Mr. and Mrs. Smith, played by Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie several years ago. We could watch this clip and laugh about it all day long and have discussions about marriage and how sometimes it feels like we're in a WWE wrestling match. But there's a lot of serious problems that we suffer from due to a lack of transparency within marriage. Lack of transparency is a form of disrespect. So let's get into a discussion about this crucial aspect of marriage, which is absolutely essential for the help of the relationship. Hey everybody, this is the Marriage Ranger. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're discussing an absolutely crucial aspect to marriage. It's essential for any relationship to thrive and be worthwhile. Without respect, you really don't have anything at all except a toxic breeding ground for conflict. So today we're going to explore four powerful ways to show respect to your spouse. If you want to improve your relationship, you have to understand what it means to show respect. And then you have to actually be willing to show it which is something that most people are not willing to do. The book of Ephesians chapter five, verse 33 says, each one of you must love his wife as he loves himself and the wife must respect her husband. Even though there is no command for the husband to respect his wife, this doesn't mean she wants to be disrespected. Of course, every person is worthy of human dignity and respect. It's just the case that being loved and being cared for sacrificially by the husband is far more important to the wife than being respected. It's not difficult to understand what God expects a man of the household to do. He must be considerate of her feelings. He must be gentle with her, caring, kind, and compassionate to her as the feminine creature. She is emotionally weaker than the man is. She is very fragile. Therefore, he can't be a bull in a china cabinet with her. He has to be mindful of her need for love and affection. Now, the woman is not told to love her husband, even though a husband does want to be loved too. But what is more important for the man is respect. What God designed the man to long for above all other things from his wife is to be respected. Without respect, our marriages will look like Brad and Angelina's marriage, full of conflict and chaos. And a lot of women ask themselves, how do I do this? What specific things do I have to do in order to fit the bill and be respectful to my husband? Well, first on the list is admiration. A wife can convey respect by admiring and looking up to her husband by holding her husband in high regard. I want to recommend a book to you if you haven't already read it before. It's called His Needs, Her Needs by Willard F. Harley. And the subtitle is Building an Affair Proof Marriage. There is a very good explanation of the male need for admiration in this book. I won't give a lengthy overview here, but I will say that admiration is one of the top five needs in men. And if you as a wife learn how to truly show admiration to your husband, you're going to become utterly irresistible to him and the marriage bond will become nearly unbreakable if you decide that you are going to give him the admiration that he desires. Next on the list is trustworthiness. In order for a man to truly feel respected by his wife, he has to have full trust and confidence in her loyalty to him. In the book of Proverbs chapter 31 verse 11, we see this message being highlighted in this way. It says, her husband trusts her without reserve and never has reason to regret it. That's from the message translation. And it shows us the importance of a husband's feeling of safety in being able to trust his wife, even when he's away from her. If a wife is constantly texting, calling, and spending her time with other men, her husband does not feel respected by her. And it also brings her trustworthiness into question. This is the case even if she has been faithful to her marriage vows. A woman who dresses, talks, and acts like an easy woman is a disgrace to her husband, and it brings shame upon him. She is showing one of the worst forms of disrespect possible. 
But sadly, this is happening all the time. Being protective is another key aspect of showing respect. A wife respects her husband by safeguarding her words about him. She is mindful of his name and his reputation, refraining from gossiping and slandering about him. No man wants to be badmouthed by his own wife. He wants all of his friends and family and associates and neighbors and co-workers to hear nothing but good things from the lips of his wife. No man could stomach the idea of his own wife intentionally hurting his image by what she says about him to others. In fact, what he desires is a doting and adoring and caring wife who flies his flag high and constantly gushes with compliments about him, not just about him to others, but to his face as well. Last but not least is appreciation. After a long, grueling day at work, all a man wants is expressions of gratitude. He wants to be acknowledged for his hard work and sacrifices. If respect is not present, conflict ensues and the relationship is in danger of being destroyed, either by estrangement or by an affair or by conflict or from some other problem that creeps into the relationship. The Bible talks about husbands loving their wives and wives submitting to their husbands out of respect. Why? Because these are universal needs among men and women. If these principles are not observed, because the wife identifies with too many masculine traits or because she thinks her husband doesn't deserve her respect or because he hasn't done enough to earn her respect, then what's the result going to be? Disaster, chaos, and then eventually separation and divorce. There are plenty of men out there who are being adequately loved by their wives, but not respected by them. And the relationship is then destroyed because the fact is love is not enough for a man. We have such an example in the book of first Samuel chapter 18. Saul's daughter, Michal is the first wife of King David. And she's mentioned in this chapter and in previous chapters as well, even though she was responsible for showing one of the strongest displays of disrespect ever recorded in the Bible from a wife toward her husband, Michal is also the only woman in scripture who is specifically mentioned as loving her husband. We see that in 1 Samuel 18 verse 20. It says, Michal, Saul's daughter, loved David. The priority though, as we have seen in other scriptures, is for women to respect their husbands rather than love them. As a result, scripture emphasizes a wife's respect instead of her love. Even though Michal is the only wife in scripture said to love him, she is not praised for this. The disrespect that she showed him ruined any potential for her to serve as a positive example for women today. Verse 16, it says, Michal, Saul's daughter, looked through a window and saw King David leaping and whirling before the Lord, and she despised him in her heart. Then David returned to bless his household, and Michal, the daughter of Saul, came out to meet David and said, How glorious was the king of Israel today! uncovering himself today in the eyes of the maids of his servants as one of the base fellows shamelessly uncovers himself. Her words dripped with ridicule. She outright mocked him publicly, no less. King David was eager to share his joy with his family, but Michal was so disgusted with him that she immediately belittled him. Picture a mother reprimanding a child. You can hear the scorn and disrespect in her words. Wives will want to ask themselves, am I like this? Do I pounce on my husband and ridicule him over something inconsequential? Do I make him feel like a little boy who is in trouble? So what did David say in response to McCall? It was before the Lord who chose me instead of your father and all his house to appoint me ruler over the people of the Lord over Israel. Therefore, I will play music before the Lord, and I will be even more undignified than this, and will be humble in my own sight. But as for the maidservants of whom you have spoken, by them I will be held in honor. David pointed out that God chose him over Michal's father. It was a valid point, and I'm sure it cut her deeply. Then he added, you think this is bad? I'll do even more than this for the people who do love and appreciate me. The phrase held in honor in verse 22 may be the clearest and simplest definition of respect in the entire Bible. 
David told Michal, you might not respect me, but there are plenty of other women who do. How many husbands have been disrespected by their wives only to look to other women that they believe will respect them? This is commonly why affairs begin and why marriages and families are broken apart because disrespect changes a husband's feelings toward his wife. This encounter between David and Michal does not end happily. It says in verse 23, Therefore Michal, the daughter of Saul, had no children to the day of her death. It could be that she was struck barren, but I take this to more likely mean that David no longer had sexual relationships with Michal. Although he did love her at one time, he was no longer interested in being intimate with a woman who disrespected him. This is the great danger in disrespecting one another in a marriage, especially when a wife disrespects her husband. A woman may be able to recover from disrespectful words, but she can't recover from a loss of love. A man may recover when his wife fails to adequately show love to him, but he can't recover from sustained and unrepentant disrespect. It is simply against the created order of things. When husbands are strongly disrespected by their wives, they become resentful of them and distance themselves from them. They say, who wants to live in a toxic marriage like this? Who wants to put up with this? I should be in a safe place in my home. I should receive respect in my own abode, my castle. Perhaps McCall still loved David at this point, but it didn't matter anymore because of the way that she had disrespected him. Join us in part two as we explore the consequences of avoidance and also the importance of engendering mutual respect between partners in the marriage relationship. Thank you for watching and God bless.